all right guys so in this video i'm going to talk about like how we can deal with iframes and frames in selenium right so selenium provides a different option to work with the frames and iframes right so if you need to work with the frames or iframes on in selenium so actually driver or selenium provides the approach in the same way right? so for understanding the concept of frames and iframes in selenium how we interact with that in selenium right so let's consider this example right so we have a button we have this button inside a frame right so we have to interact with this button using a frame concept right so if you directly try to inspect this web element and right directly try to click on this button then that time this script will fail so what you have to do is like you have to switch to frame because this uh, button is existing inside a frame right so we have to switch inside uh, the frame and then only we will be able to interact so selenium provides three different approaches to work with the uh, frames or iframes in selenium right the approach for interacting with uh, or handling uh, frames or iframe is same in selenium right so let us see the first approach so first approach is like uh, using a web element so we have to identify in using the web element and using that uh, uh, you know using that we have to switch to the frame we have to pass that web element inside this frame as an argument and now we'll be able to interact it right so next approach is like using a name or id so we have to switch to the frame using the frame name so you can say that for example this is the frame name so using this we have to just call this driver dot switch to frame and we have to pass this a uh, frame name and uh, after switching to this frame name we can easily interact with that element which we are trying to in interact so using an index so this is the third approach right i can say the best approach uh, in which like we can just pass the index of the frame that is uh, available on the web page like uh, there are multiple frames available so we can just pass the index of that uh, we have to ensure like uh, the index of the frame starts from so we have to make sure like the index of the frame starts from zero yeah, right so it has got zero index frame so if you are just considering the second frame then you have to pass the index as one and if you're considering to switch to the first frame then you have to pass the index as zero so once we are done with the required operation on inside the frame right so we have to leave the frame and you have to switch back to the parent frame right so in order to switch to the parent frame you have to use this uh, uh, statement so driver dot switch to dot default content which will like uh, re uh, ship to the main parent frame and then we can work on the parent frame if you directly try to interact with the any web element in the parent frame then that time you no know, such element will be thrown right and if uh, we are directly try trying to uh, if we are directly trying to interact with uh, any web element which is existing inside a frame so it will throw no such element on the web page so if you're directly trying to interact with any web element without switching the frame or iframe then that time the script will throw no such element exception so we have to check uh, using like uh, inspecting right well, let me show you this is the official website of selenium so if i right click and inspect this you'll be able to see like uh, there is a view frame source and reload frame so this confirms like there is a frame inside this and if you inspect this and then you'll be able to see the frame this uh, web element is present inside the frame so that will be uh, having like uh, the tag as frame or iframe so you can see the frame tag is present here which confirms like there is a uh, like frame and these elements are present inside this frame right so this is how you can just uh, identify whether any web page has got any frame or not so just right click and you will be able to see this option like view frame source or reload frame so in the next video we'll see like how we can switch to different frames so using the three different approaches that we have right so that's all in this video see you in the next one